This is my $5,000 gaming setup, and today I will be giving you guys a tour. From my PC to my desk, you will see it all. Over the last few years, my setup has been through many stages of building and upgrading, but today I will show you the finished product. For my monitors, my main is a Kuri 24 inch 165Hz refresh rate monitor, but for only $100, this monitor is a steal. My left vertical monitor is a Scepter 75Hz curved monitor, coming in at 70 bucks. For my top monitor, it is just a random dumb monitor that I found in our closet. I have this Logitech HD camera that is pretty good quality for only $70. This seems to be a very popular choice among streamers and content creators. For my peripherals, I have the High Ground Opal 65 keyboard with TTC white flame switches. This sounds absolutely amazing. I paid around 120 bucks for it and it has to be one of my best purchases yet. I went for a more budget friendly mouse being the G305 from Logitech. There's nothing special about it, but for under $50 I can't complain. It's white, it's wireless, and it's not too heavy. Under all of this is the Gutsy Aiden Arctic Swirl mouse pad. The colors look great and it feels very smooth and high quality. You can get the bigger sizes for around $40 and the size I have for around $36. Holding everything up are the Alex Shores and Lab Captain tabletop from IKEA. The Alex Shores cost around $80 and the tabletop cost around $60. Holding all the wires, I have this cable management tray that keeps all the wires in order. You can find these online at anywhere from $20 to $40. Bucks. I got these Pebble Tech speakers for around $20. They sound amazing and are very loud, but I just don't use them that much. I have a few fake plants to make the setup feel more lively and make it feel more cozy. This tripod that I put beside my desk comes in handy so much. I use it for most of my videos and you can find these on Amazon for around $60 to $100. For Microsoft Flight Simulator War Thunder, I use this Logitech joystick that I found on Amazon. These go for around $30. It has good input, good buttons, and everything works fine. This is my PC. I already made a video on this, so I won't go too far into depth. I found some benchmarks that show this card going against other cards, such as the RTX 2080 Super, the RX 6600 XT outperforms it, and the 2080 can go for double the price. This shows that the RX 6600 XT is a very good deal and a great graphics card. I have this PseudoTAC USB microphone which ran me around $50. The quality is good and it comes in with a boom arm. I can't really complain for the price though. I have two Vivo monitor arms which both ran me around $25 to $30. They are very sturdy and come with cable clips. They hold up all three of my monitors without a problem. Moving on to my chair, I could not find the name of it, but it's just a regular ergonomic chair. It has mesh and foam for padding and plastic armrest. Overall the chair is not that bad, but I probably would not buy it again. Finally, I had this coaster my friend gave to me. I don't know why, but I guess it's kind of funny it's pretty cool, so I guess I have it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my setup tour video and everything that I showed in the video will be linked down in the description below. Thank you for watching.